you guys what is up welcome back to my channel my name is Meryl if you are new here hello thank you for joining me today and if you're not new here thank you so much for coming back I appreciate it I got a brand new laptop I am so excited I've never had like my own real laptop before like I've had a couple here and there that like people have given to me the most recent one I had was for my grandma so she gave me her old laptop um, work fine it's just very old and slow um, and I edit everything on my phone but now I have a brand new laptop so hopefully <laughs> I looked at the iMovie on the laptop and holy shit it looks overwhelming to say the least but we'll figure it out watch some YouTube videos and uh, figure out how to edit a, a goddamn video on a computer because it's so easy on your phone there's just like not as many options on your phone as like what you can do but on the iMovie on the computer it is like insane and there's so many things to learn so hopefully my quality of video editing will get way better once I uh, learn how to do it <laughs> um, but anyways so today I kind of wanted to do like a fun little yellow and blue halo eye um, I have a bunch of different palettes here that I've pulled out that all have colors that look like they could work and also I'm gonna do one eye at a time like I'm gonna do one eye and show you what I'm doing and then I'm gonna do the other eye off camera because I just feel like it'll save some time you know so I'm gonna just start with some concealer on my eyelid I'm just taking my elf hydrating camo concealer satin finish in the shade light ivory and I'm just gonna take my beauty sponge this is the makeup eraser sponge and you guys I love it it is like the best sponge I've ever used I'm gonna do my next video I'm gonna talk more about this and I just take the sponge to kind of get rid of any excess product obviously I think I'm just gonna take the sponge and not that brush I just it's just much better so these are the palettes I've pulled out to use today I've got a variety here. So I've got my Juvia's Place, the Warrior 3 palette. There's some beautiful colors in here, like, damn bitch. Just look at that, she's stunning. And I've also got my little NYX Ultimate Brights palette, and then I have this ColourPop Yes Please palette, and there's just a good yellow shade in here that might help me out. And I also, <laughs> you thought I was done. <laughs> I also have this other random palette full of random shadows, but there might be some good shadows to use here as well. So I'm going to set the concealer that is on my eyelid. I'm going to take the ColourPop Yes Please palette and use this shade right here called Full Zip. It's just like a, a good skin tone shade for my skin tone. I'm going to set both eyes so that the concealer doesn't like dry out, but I'm just going to focus on the one eye at a time. Find the lightest yellow shadow that I have. I'm going to start off with this shade right here called Mischief in the ColourPop Yes Please palette. So I'm focusing this on the crease and the inner and outer corner. And it's okay if we get it in the center of the lid, we can always just cut it with some concealer later. Okay, taking the same brush, we're gonna go into the Juvia's Place palette. And this shade is called Nzinga. I think that's how you say it, Nzinga. And then we're just gonna use the same MAC brush and pack it on. I'm just gonna go back in with that first shade we used, Full Zip, like the light skin toned eyeshadow, and just kind of blend in or blend out this area. It's always weird doing like colorful eye looks before you have any of your other makeup on because you look like a crazy person for a while. I honestly don't think I know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm just kind of taking a clean brush to blend it out even further just to make sure it's all nice and soft. And now we're gonna move on to the third palette. And go in with this one right here. This is on the ColourPop, or sorry, this is the NYX Ultimate Brights palette. 
and it's just a bit deeper. It's a little bit on the orangey side, but I'm going to use a bit just in the crease. So these are the two blues I'm debating between. They're so pretty. I think I think I want more of the true blue. So I'm going to think I'm going to take the top one. And that shade is called Congo. In the Juvia's Place Warrior 3 palette. So I'm going to take a tiny bit of concealer and just pack it onto my lid right in the middle so that the blue really pops. And we can go we're going to go back and forth, back and forth with blending. So don't stress. <laughs> I think I'm mostly saying don't stress to myself. <laughs> but if you're stressed, don't stress. <laughs> or do, I don't know. <laughs> I don't wanna tell you what to do. So when you're doing a halo eye, you want the pop, whatever pop you're doing, you want it to kind of be like right in the center of your eyeball, like right where the iris is. You want it just above there. take it above the crease a little bit just because when you open your eye it's gonna crease naturally so you might as well make it look intentional I think I'll leave it there and see what happens when wait, is it even at the top there I just bring it, it looks a bit lopsided I always have a makeup eraser on deck so I can just like wipe off my fingers from the blue I just swatched there we go the waist I love it I'm taking Congo on my finger here and hoping for the best. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I hope it looks cute. I mean, that color is beautiful. I'm just going back in with those yellow shades we were using and we're just gonna blend until it looks good. Not done yet, but I'm, I think I'm gonna do the other, th other side really quick and then we'll uh, get back into it. So I put this eye on and I tweaked it up a little bit and I think I like it a little bit of a softer blue, like a little bit more of a baby blue. So, what did I do again? <laughs> like I love that blue shade, so I'll have to use it another time. I, I did put it on underneath as well, but I lightened it up a little bit and I think that I like it more. So, let me show you the shade I picked. Oh my god, it doesn't have a number. It's definitely NYX, but I don't know what the shade is. So I just took this little shadow here. It is NYX, but there's nothing on the back. Just took that and I just worked it in and blended it in with the yellow and I just think that it looks a bit nicer. I started off with a brush and then I switched over to my finger because I was getting a better pigment payoff with the finger, but I'll try this again. Yeah, I'm just gonna use my finger because it was looking a bit better. Um, pearl sheen shadow from Ben Nye. Oopsie. And it's just this white, and I just put a little bit in the center of the lid. And then I went back in with this brush and just kind of blend it over. up now with my makeup eraser just taking this makeup eraser and cleaning up the bottom I'm also gonna take some micellar water and just like clean up the rest of it here I have these reusable cotton pads I love I got them from Amazon but I don't want to buy from Amazon anymore I deleted my app and everything so I think you can buy these at Sephora 
fuck Jeff Bezos. And the little shadows layered really nicely. I didn't have any patchiness or anything. It worked out, worked out well. Okay, I think I'll just tie my hair back here. I've been using the silk scrunchies for like the last, I don't know, couple weeks, maybe a month. I used to use these and these fucking destroyed my hair. Like 100%, these ripped it out. I have so many short pieces. I got a haircut, I got like three inches cut off. And um, yeah, I have been I have been loving the silk scrunchies. They are way more gentle on your hair. And I notice a difference, like, I definitely notice a difference with like how gentle they are. And this, this does not pull out like half my fucking head of hair. Just thought I would uh, mention that because I've been loving them. So normally I put on sunscreen, but I'm not going to use any today because I'm not really going outside. I'm just chilling. I got this as a sample, the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. I kind of want to try this, so I'm going to. <laughs> I'm not going to put anything else on my skin, just this and see how it looks. And I think. So that's what it looks like. Let's uh, see what it feels like. Oh my goodness, it feels thick. Oh, weird. forehead it's like a second face <laughs> it's so big <laughs> wow this feels really really nice i am going to use my eye cream out because i just love an eye cream i'm taking my ula henderson banana bright eye cream i'm not taking myself seriously with this hair and face at the moment it's just really not good i'm back into doing my like bronzer first and then putting on my complexion products around it because I just find that it looks a bit more natural. Um, so I'm going to be taking my Tower 28 Bronzino in West Coast. Literally look at how much I've used. Like it is crazy. I have a backup. And I'm taking on my Real Techniques fucking brush. I'm just going to massage it into my hand because since there I did hit pan, like the center of the brush obviously gets no product because there's no product in the middle. So I need to just like work it into the brush. Trust me, I know I look like a fucking crazy person right now, but I look good in about three minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I look crazy. I look like a bronzed tin man. <laughs> okay, now I'm taking my Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tint. I saw that Samantha was using this and I was like, I used to have this and I used to love it a lot. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try this out. And I've been loving it. It's a bit too light for me right now since, because I am a bit tan, but I'm gonna use it because it blends out really nicely. You can't really tell. I don't really like the applicator. <laughs> it's like this weird firm like rolly ball and it doesn't really feel that nice on my skin. <laughs> kind of weird. Like why do why do brands do this weird stuff? <laughs> Can't you just stick to like a regular fucking pump? Why do you have to go and try and be innovative? What's the point of this? Does anybody know? Okay, we're taking my beauty sponge again. This is my uh, makeup eraser sponge. And we're gonna blend all this in. And then obviously there's like a hard line now, so I'll just go back in afterwards with my um, bronzer brush and just blend it out. I'm taking my bronzer brush again and just going back over it. Just adding a bit more product on. See, I look less crazy. <laughs> Just taking my e.l.f. camel again. Covering up that fucking zit that I popped and couldn't stop touching. Now I'm taking my IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I have been loving this. I just pulled it out of the bottom of my drawer one day and I've been loving it ever since. Take my beauty sponge again and just kind of go over that. This stuff is very thick, but I just love it. I just find that it does a great job of covering up my dark fucking circles. Now it's time for some blush. I have been going heavy with the blush. And I love it. I've been doing the Patrick Ta trick where you do the powder blush first and then you set it in with the cream. And it also just like brings 
the powdery look back to life and like add some more shine and dew back into the skin. So I've been doing that for like the last couple weeks, maybe like a week or a week and a half. And I've been loving it. It's just the most beautiful look. And it lasts all day long. Like I literally, my brush is, stays on through a full day of work, which is amazing. So I've been doing that and loving it. So I'm gonna take the Tarte Amazonian Clay 24 hour, 12 hour blush in the shade Party. And I'm taking this little e.l.f. blush brush and I just kind of bring this onto the high points of my cheeks. So kind of where I would apply my highlight. Bring it into the middle towards the nose. on the nose just to tie it all together and then now I go in with a cream and I've just been using this Tower 28 one because I've just been loving it it's really nice it's very pigmented you only need a little bit um, and this is Beach Please Magic Hour and then I've also been using this Sephora Pro Angled Blush Brush and I literally just like tap in and that's it I have not been wearing highlighter because I just already find that I look very shiny and dewy, which I love. So um, I just don't need to add on extra highlight right now. And I just take my big, my beauty sponge, my big laser sponge, and blend that all in there. Just so it's nice and seamless. And now I am taking my Hourglass Vanish, nope, Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. Setting my under eyes with this and using this Real Techniques setting brush. And it just cancels out the shine under my eyes that I just don't want or need. Alright, here we go. I love the way that the skin looks. It's got a nice dewy shine over here and like matte where I want it to be. So I'm gonna put a little tiny bit of powder on my forehead. Alright, time for some brows now. So I got my boxy charm box for June? No, 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 July. But I got it like very late, like July 30th or like 29th. So I got this Hourglass Brow Pencil, Hourglass Brow Micro Sculpting Pencil in Arch. I think that's the shade, yeah. Um, and I have been loving it. It has the best shape of an eyebrow pencil I have like ever used. I am obsessed with this pencil. But this is what the pencil looks like. So it's got like a, a skinny, it's like it's like long and skinny like most brow pencils are like let me compare this is hourglass this is the elf one and this is what majority of eyebrow pencils I've used have looked like so elf one is like a cylinder like a circle and hourglass is more like an oval shaped so I have been loving the hourglass shape it just gives a more natural hair like stroke hopefully I showed that well enough I don't know how much this pencil is I think it's probably expensive because it's hourglass but I got it in my boxy charm box, so I'm fucking stoked about that. And the shade actually matches me very well. So I'm gonna put it on my brows now. So I've been doing a couple strokes with the brow flick just in the end. So I add a couple of strokes with this brow flick into the end of the tail um, because they're more sparse there, and this product is very long wearing. So I just find that look better like throughout the day if I use a bit of this and then now I'll go in with the pencil just to fluff up the front and fill in any little gaps here and this is also a lighter color like a lighter shade it matches the brows a bit better than the front because the brow flick is a bit dark next time I order I'm definitely getting blonde I got brown for some reason because I normally like a deeper brow but I love these products together. They just look so nice. Okay, and then the last step <laughs> for the brows is going back in with my boy brow. So going in with my boy brow from Glossier as well. And that's the brow. I'm gonna do the other one off camera. My brows are back. <laughs> my brows are back. I mean, I guess they are. Now it's time to do a little bit of nose contour. And I'm gonna take my Ace Beauty um, bronzed in paradise palette and i've been loving using the first shade down here uh, for nose contour 
and when I go to work every day, I just put it uh, in my crease as well. And then let's just bring it up until we grab the bed, just to make it all seamless. Okay, now we're gonna finish up the bottom lash line. I think we're gonna just do yellow on the bottom lash line, and then I'm gonna see what it looks like with blue liner in the bottom waterline. I just see what happens. So I'm taking this little, this London look brush, and I'm going in with Mischief from the ColourPop palette. And now I'm just gonna dip into the Warrior 3 palette, just so that we have all the same colors on the top and the bottom, so it's all nice and cohesive. Okay, I'm gonna do the other eye, and be right there. It looks so pretty, I really like it. It's cute. These are the two blue liners I have. I think I would probably use the top one, or this one over here. It just looks a bit more of what I'm looking for. All right, I guess we're doing it. Do we like it? Yeah, not bad. This is the Lisa Wattier Eyeshine in Blue Azure. I am going to curl my lashes and put on some mascara. I will be right back. All right, the eyes are done. This is not cruelty free, but it's such a good shade. I'm taking my Laura Mercier Naked Lip Liner. And there's chapstick on my lips. I'm just gonna line them. All right, and then I think I'm gonna go over top with this little, um, Tarte Times Whitney Simmons Barefoot Lipstick. I am just going to set my face now with this Hourglass Soft Focus Setting Spray. And I've mentioned before that I notice it kind of shoots right out if you don't use it for a while. So yeah, there's like one shot of fun. Of that. And I'm gonna just take this little sponge and go over. All right, you guys, this is today's final look. I think that the eyes turned out so fun. I kind of like the blue liner in the uh, bottom waterline. I think it just adds a little pop of blue, obviously. <laughs> um, but I think it turned out cute. I like it a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching my video today. I hope that you enjoyed it. I will have all of the products I used listed in the description box down below along with my Instagram handle. Uh, so you can uh, catch me there if you want. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you liked it. It uh, really helps a girl out when you subscribe. I can see the numbers of who watches my videos who are not subscribed and who are subscribed. <laughs> so I would love it if you could just hit that subscribe button. Button. I will see you guys in the next video to talk about the makeup eraser. Bye!